Hi guys, I know y'all have been asking about how to make butter and we're going to go over it real quick. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can start and I'm going to show you all the stuff you really need. Um, we use the KitchenAid because it's fast, simple, and easy. I know some of y'all have it and some of you don't and if that's the case, I have a different way to show you. But all you need is heavy whipping cream, some salt, and a couple of paddles to help smash the liquid out of the butter. So let's go ahead and get started with the KitchenAid. All you have to do is put the cream in the mixer and set it to go. And then it agitated enough to make the butter form. Now for those of you who don't have a KitchenAid, same thing with the heavy whipping cream. All you have to do is just keep shaking it. <coughs> and you're going to keep shaking it and eventually the liquid's going to stop making the sloshing sound and it's going to feel like it's solid. But you want to keep shaking it after that until it makes a plush type sound. This tends to take a little bit of time, but if you want butter, that's what it takes. Shake it. You gotta shake it good. Yeah, it's already starting to be solid. <coughs> and now it's going to the solid. There's really not any sloshing to it and that's the heavy whip the heavy that's the whipped cream stage of it. Should start setting up here in a second in the KitchenAid be whipped cream. And just keep beating it just a little bit more and it becomes butter. It starts to separate out the fat from the whey or buttermilk. And we are just mixing it up in the KitchenAid a little bit more and a little bit faster. Trying to get it to go into the whipped cream stage. So you see how it's starting to do the ripples? That's where we're coming up on the whipped whip cream stage of this. And it shouldn't take too much longer until it all starts to separate out. Yeah, it's starting to reduce and get thinner again, and it's starting to actually turn yellow now. We should have butter here real soon. You see it's starting to separate down, starting to, the buttermilk starting to separate from the rest of it. <coughs> Just a little bit more, and we'll have butter. See the liquid forming in there? As the buttermilk. And that's the buttermilk. No. Alright. So the butter has separated from the buttermilk. And here's the butter. And there's your buttermilk. And all the solid bits is butter. All that's butter. And 
once you have it, all you really have to do is just squeeze out any in that excess buttermilk from it. So if you don't, it tends to make it not last as long. There's that. You can also use the paddles to help form it in the shapes. And it does help get out more buttermilk. I know some people like buttermilk, but mm, I don't. There's not many things that I like worse than I do buttermilk. So usually my pigs get it. They seem to like it. But they're pigs, so they're not going to complain about getting food. Once you get all the liquid pretty much smashed out of it, now's the time. That's your salt to taste. And then you mix it in. <coughs> and that's all it is to it. Butter. And this still has to be shaking a little bit, but it's in the heavy whipping green stage as well. Just a little bit more on it and it'll make a kerplop sound where it separates the buttermilk from the butter and you have butter you just do the same thing hope you enjoyed hope you learned something new take it easy